This is a cross section of the members of the clergy who are here today at the ZMZ. They are about to ring the freedom bell. This is a group photograph that we just had here. Many members are here and they are in the process now of going over to the DMZ which separates North Korea from South Korea or we within 50 yards of North Korea and this is the center of the world right now as we are here in a peace conference to avert the threat of war believing that God is in control and now we have some of the members here assembled on the steps where the freedom bell as the backdrop of this beginning of the ceremony here on today. We have over 200 members of the clergy representing various denominations and various religious faiths. This is Reverend Dr. Jenkins. He'll share now asking us to gather as we begin the process in earnest. Reverend Tengen. Thank you. Uh, people still coming up from down. Yes, yes. Okay. Reverend Jackson addresses the audience. Standing by the over the side yeah. there. All the American delegation, let's please assemble. I don't hear you. Troy, put me down. Reverend Gardner, please uh, ask everyone to come now. You can actually video. You can take pictures and video. Sorry, love. It is what it is. <laughs> Use Photoshop. You can fix it. Okay, Bishop Riley. Back right there. He's in uh, Ambassador Britton, please come forward. The clergy members are assembling now as they are in the process of beginning the ceremony. Again, as we say, this is um, a large gathering of over 200 members of the clergy representing various denominations, religious faiths, and various nationalities. The ambassadors are over here as they are about to begin the ceremony. I am your narrator, Reverend Reed, a member of the clergy 172 as ordained by Father Moon in 2011. And it's a, my pleasure and honor to narrate this process, this ceremony at this time. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay. Everyone just stay right here facing this way. We're going to keep on the program. Coming out all the people that are designated to ring the bell of freedom, please come follow me around. We're gonna enter on the other side. Everyone stay here. We're going to be facing right where Reverend Weston is. We're going to be standing right behind him. Excuse me. I'd like to clear off the steps. From Weston, I think we have to keep the steps open. This will be our stage now. If everybody can stand down on the, on the regular area. Everybody coming in close. This is great. Thank you. We're here at Mjum Gok. This is the border of North and South Korea. To your left in the audience, that's North Korea. And we'll see some of the historic. Uh, 
explanations of what happened in the last group that Reverend came over Jenkins that bridge. is now narrating. The has been closed now since, since the Korean War began. The history uh -huh. and background of the purpose also, why we are here today is we are about to begin the formal part of the ceremony. We have here uh, a Buddhist priest. A executive committee of ACLC should be up here. Executive committee of the American Clergy Leadership Conference is on the rostrum right now. And they are awaiting other members to join them. Bishop Johnson, come on up. Reverend Doherty, we'd like you up here, please. Hi, uh, he should stay there. He's too casual today. Amen. <laughs> He'll be on program tonight. This is. How many times have you been Bishop. here, Bishop? Many, I don't know. How many? You know better than I do. I don't know. All right. They're looking at you. Reverend Abernathy's up here? Okay, good. Okay. We'd like to begin our program here at M. Jim Gok on this day of September 9th, 2017. We've come as representatives of 200 religious leaders, representatives of all denominations and all religions from the USA. We're coming to really pray for peace and really call for God's victory and God's blessing upon our efforts to bring peace between North and South Korea. The Lord says in the scripture that not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord. Father Moon predicted that the Soviet Union would collapse and the wall between Berlin East and West would crumble. He did that in 1980, long before that fall of the wall occurred. He also predicted that the wall between North and South Korea will come down. And Mother Moon is saying it can happen in the next three years by 2020 if we do our responsibility. But by the Spirit, we can move the hearts of all the people of the South Korea to know that America and God's people are behind them. But we want to see a peaceful resolution. We want to liberate the people in the South. Amen. At this time, I'd like to call on Ambassador Britton to come forward, who's a U.S. ambassador, to come forward and give some remarks. Ambassador Britton, stay right there. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, should I say good morning? Good morning. morning. This would have been my third visit. As it was, I missed the first visit. It was on 2nd of uh, October 1950 that I was called uh, back to service in the Marine Corps to come to Korea. Interesting thing happened. I had applied for a commission. You know, the Marine Corps did not commission black officers during World War II. But it happened that I opposed their desegregate their um, segregation policies, and so my application for a commission was turned down, and I knew then that I was eligible to leave the Marine Corps, which I did in June of 1951. I missed it up here, but I missed being killed, too, because my group ended up on Pusan Reservoir where it was cold, they did not have enough clothing, they received trucks bringing up food, and those same trucks took back frozen bodies which they weren't able to bury. So the Lord works in mysterious ways, his wonders to perform. My next trip here was a friend from Albania. I represent the Republic of Albania as Consul General. He and I laughed because at that time, he would have been on the opposite side of this wall, this fence, as an Albanian, it was communist at that time. In addition, by this time, both of us were members of nations that were members of NATO. So again, coming here brings back those thoughts of what might have been and what might not have been, 
And on the other hand, I'm so glad that through Father, Mother Moon, Michael, and so many others. Don't mind if I call you Michael. I'm, I'm so old that everyone is younger. <laughs> but I just wanted to say it's, it's such a blessing to be here and to at least um, let you see a relic of what was the Korean War. Someone has exposed my age before, so I won't repeat it, but uh, luckily I'm still around and I, I get a lot of questions about that. So I'm just so happy to be here and I want to say thank you very thank much you. for allowing me to be here with thank you. you. Thank you. Ambassador Ted Britton, we thank you. Let us sing together. Joshua fought the battle of Jericho, Jericho, Jericho. Joshua fought the battle of Jericho, and the walls came tumbling down. Joshua fought the battle of Jericho, Jericho, Jericho. Joshua fought the battle of Jericho, and the walls came tumbling down. And the walls came tumbling down. At this time, I'd like to call for the keynote address to bring peace between North and South Korea, to end the tyranny in the North with a move of the Holy Spirit. Archbishop Cecil Riley, who is a pastor and founder of Freedom Hall Church of God, and also is the chairman of the American Clergy Leadership Conference for the state of New York. Is it all right to shout hallelujah? Can we hear it again, hallelujah? hallelujah? I'll be brief. Just wondering today why we are here. There was a song back a long time ago. It said, what am I living for? But today we can see why we are living now. We are the people that God has called for this. We are chosen for such a time as this. And I'm so glad for this movement where we have torn the walls down. The, all the religious walls are down. We are the righteous people. And we have heard a long time ago that when the righteous cry, the Lord will hear. Yes. It was Brother Jude who said, listen, there's a time that would come that we would have to contend for the faith. Right. Hallelujah. We are the people that are called to contend for this faith. It may not be easy for us. But the Lord said, my yoke is easy and your burden is light. If you can touch somebody and tell him, yes, we can do it. Yes, we can do it. God has heard his people before and he said, I'm the same God yesterday. I'm the same God today. I'm the same God forever. If he heard them before, he'll hear us today. The faith that was given to Father Abraham, Father Isaac and Jacob, Father and Mother Moon, we are contending for this faith. Let peace reign. And the peace will begin with us right here today. Let us have that faith that whatever we ask for, God is not just able but willing to perform we're not just here for formality we're not here for vacation we are here because we are representing the Prince of Peace we don't mind what you call him but he is still the Prince of Peace and today our prayers that the walls will come down as we speak to those walls by faith they will come down I heard somebody a long time said, if not then, if not now, then when? If not us, then who? We are the righteous of this nation. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Shout again hallelujah. hallelujah. Our prayer will be a prayer of faith. When we pray that prayer of faith, we will not be looking back. Because as far as we are concerned, the walls will be down. No matter how powerful man may pretend to be, there's only one supreme power. We call him by different names, but it is still God. Somebody shout God. God. Somebody shout God. God. We may be Muslims, we may be Christians, we may be unif uh, unificationists, but we are God's children. God's chosen people. And the word is still true. If my people. Hallelujah, we are God's people. If we would call upon him, his name. We are calling upon him today. We have humbled ourselves. We have turned away from our wicked ways. Yes, we acknowledge like Mother Moon said, we have sinned. 
We have dropped the ball, but we thank God for the redemption that he has given us. We are back again. We are back better than before. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. It was Peter before he got filled with the Holy Spirit. He denied Christ. He said, I don't know him. But after he became filled with the Holy Spirit, he cried with a loud voice. This is that which was spoken by the prophet told in the last day that I will. Pour out of my spirit. The spirit of the Lord is upon us today. And we are here to proclaim victory in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout victory. Somebody shout victory. Somebody shout victory. Hallelujah. God bless you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Bishop Riley. At this time, we'd like to welcome... The Reverend Jung Su An. He's been pastor of Christian Church for many, many years, and he leads the International Christian Missionary Association in Korea. Let's welcome Pastor Jung Sun An from the Korean Religions Association. <laughs> 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 특히 한국은 분단의 마지막 세계에서 마지막 장소입니다. 바, 바로 앞이 바로 앞이 우리와 갈라진 한민족이 살고 있습니다. 하나님을 믿는 하나님 안에서 사는 여러분이 오심으로써 이민족이 더욱더 영적인 힘을 갖고 이 통일 한국의 역사를 이룰 수 있을 거라고 생각을 합니다. 여러분은 자만서 4장 23절에 나온 것처럼 무릇 지킬 만한 것보다 내 마음을 지켜라. 생명의 근원이 이에서 납니다. 하는 것처럼 여러분은 하나님을 믿고 하나님 안에서 사는 위대한 성직자들이십니다. As you are clergy, as you believe God, you are living with God, that's why you are special people, you are come here, that's what we feel now. 하나님의 시가 여러분 안에 있고 그 씨를 가진 여러분이 이 한국에 오심으로써 메가다 장군이 인천 상륙 작전을 해서 이 대한민국을 살리듯이 여러분이 온 마음을 갖고 이 민족을 살릴 거라고 생각을 합니다. This is Bishop Coxley right here, sitting and relaxing with Archbishop out of North Dakota. One of the clergy 172. Yes, this is the clergy 172 here in the background as the message of peace is going forward from the Freedom Bell Tower. These are ribbons, prayer ribbons that are being available for prayers to be written, which will be then hung on the DMZ border. These are yellow ribbons, and these are red ribbons over here. And you can see here, this is says here for the unity of North and South 
Korea. And this is a pastor who just written that message. Again, there are more ribbons over here. And all the way to the end. Ribbons are available for prayers to be written on them for the members. This is one of our volunteers here, man in this table, and has been doing great service for all the ministers here on this pilgrimage. What a beautiful smile. <laughs> Over here. So, more evidence. Prayer. Answers questions. Okay, so now we go back and forth to hear the final prayer that's been offered. Prayer of Thanksgiving. But it's awesome ceremony that has been held here because these men and women of God have taken their work, their ministry, and their mandate seriously for God. Having traveled in many instances like myself, 15 hours by air with a layover in China for another 24 hours to be here in South Korea at the very border of North and South Korea. South Korea is just less than 100 yards from where we're standing. We believe that God can do anything but and fail. Think about the work that is going on we now listen to this final prayer South Korea. that is being brought forward. We went to the dedicatorial service yesterday to see the work that is going on here in <coughs> South Korea. I'm reminded of Elijah and Elisha. Yeah. They were traveling around the country together. This is one of our worship leaders right here. And when Elijah got to the Remember end of his journey, Donald Gospel he said to Elisha, was given great service. What will you have me to do for this you? Journey. And Elisha said, just give me a double portion of your spirit. Lord, have mercy. And so Elisha received a double portion and was able to do double miracles than Elijah. Reverend Moo, Reverend Sun Young Moo, when he got ready to leave here, he had to drop his mantle. And Reverend Hak Shahan Moon picked the mantle up. And it shows that she has double, double spirit. Look at the work that she is doing. She is doing the work that no other woman has done. She's building up a city so that the people of God will be able to dwell there. So we thank God today for her efforts. And we can't forget the team that is behind. Everyone that is on this team is in unity. Yes. Regardless of how important or menial their jobs are, yes. everybody was working together. Yes. And we could see it. Yes. This is what we need to bring back home. Yes. To let everybody know that we can be unified as well as in South Korea. Yes. Let me leave you with the words of God when he said, Hallelujah. I will not leave you nor forsake you. And then the comforting words that Jesus left with us, Lord have mercy. This is, this is Dr. Moss, the I'm registered yeah. representative of the American yeah. clergy organization so and its official today. photographer Let us close on duty, on and call. Thank you, Dr. Moss. Amen. Thank you. Great sir. job. Great job. Amen. Thank you. Yes. Amen. Amen. Let's sing together one verse. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved the wretch of me. We come down. We are in prayer that the wall between us and Israel will come down. We are in prayer that the wall between us and Israel will come down.
now I see. Zone. And the delegation here can come up on the Peace. set. Some of you can go around to Starts the other side. Me. You can see better. And we are going. We are going to ring the bell of freedom. Hello, thank you very much. Uh, maybe I think it's a prayer meeting of the Vincent's Korean unification. And now I can explain briefly about this bell. We made this bell uh, to many of us many years, uh, two thousand seventeen years ago, and. Uh, Korean law abroad was 1950. It is passed at the time we made this bear. From many countries, we bring the such as branch and uh, casting this bear. So, uh, last thing, if you're hitting the bear, the sound is not here your eyes, your ears, in your mind. It's a, it's a, in on the left, it's the same like this. So, you're hitting the bear, it's the sound in hitting your mind. One more step back. What we're about to witness is the ringing of the freedom bell, and this bell is in the foreground, and various members of the clergy are being asked now to ring the freedom bell. And this should happen any moment now. We're bringing out the freedom bell. Make something, make a record. Really, if you see, if you hear, Okay. 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 We are awaiting the ringing of the gong here at the DMZ, the Freedom Bell. Here. Any moment now, the bell is going to be rung. Yeah. Here we go, here we go, where we go, here we go, right now, two, 
three. something pray for peace or whatever you want to write and we're going to go down and tie it on the fence between north and south korea we will have time to see the museum pieces and understand the history after we go down to the fence we'll have a short prayer there and then we're going to come, come all the way back and we're going to see the u.s army and marine corps burial ground u.s soldiers are buried here all right thank you Watch your step. 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 Watch your